Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to Rituals. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Rituals. This is Rituals Money Talks, and today's topic is, I'm going to give you four reasons why investing is better than savings. Okay, so reason number one, investing can beat the inflation rate. So right now, the inflation rate is extremely low because of what's going on with the coronavirus and everything. I think it's below 1%, but usually it's around, hmm, I believe around 3% usually. So investing, when you invest on a good return, you usually get around, I believe like seven or 8% on investing. So if you're doing okay, you're usually getting around seven to 8% return on investing. So that right there is beating the inflation rate right there. So that's reason number one. Investing can beat the inflation rate. Now, is that a guarantee? No. But on averages, the average inflation rate usually is around 3%. Your average investing uh, return on investment is usually around 7 to 8%. So there you go. Reason number two why investing is better than saving. That is, investing helps to build wealth over time that's right investing helps to build wealth over time and hence the name of the channel is rituals which is the daily practice of building wealth so that's what we're trying to do here and that's what i'm trying to give you guys some tips on on how to build wealth and create generational wealth because that's really important so investing helps building wealth over time because when you're investing there's a beautiful thing called compound interest so over the course of time, your money grows as long as you don't touch it. And as long as everything's going well with the stock market and things like that, the economy is doing an upward trend. As long as those factors and everything, and you're not trying to just go go like short-term stocks and just buying stocks and pulling out. As long as you're not doing that, as long as you're doing it, you know, buying stocks and letting it sit for the long run, it will build wealth over the course of time. Now, you can do some, some stocks where you're in and out, in and out, in and out, and building wealth. Those are a little bit riskier, but you can. If you're taking those profits and you're reinvesting those profits, then, yeah, you can build wealth that way, too, by doing a little short in and out. Um, they call that trend investing. Um, I was talking about that yesterday in yesterday's video. So go check out the three type of stock portfolios. I did a video on that yesterday. I'll leave a link somewhere up in here. Go watch that video. You'll really enjoy that one. Anyway, back to this video. Number three, the third reason investing is better than saving. Investing can lead, can help lead to an early retirement. So that kind of turns into that sack one about how investing can build wealth over the course of time. So if you start investing at a younger age and you just putting in money consistently, two, three hundred dollars a month, so forth and so forth, and you're not touching it. At the average return rate, like seven, eight percent, you can set yourself up for a pretty nice early retirement. You know, if you're living below your means, so investing definitely can help lead to an early retirement. Like for instance, um, Kodak stock. Oh my goodness, that thing got, I believe, backing from the government last week or two weeks ago. And if you had money in Kodak. Phew, boom like it just blew up real quick and you never know when those opportunities are going to come so you got money invested in certain stocks and you're just letting it sit you could have one beautiful you know boom in the economy for that stock in particular like a need or whatever or funding and it could make your portfolio just grow overnight now like i said this is not the lottery so don't think you're just gonna buy stocks and oh man i'm be a millionaire tomorrow no, this is the long game. You're playing for the long game. Stock is not trying to go to the gas station and buy a lottery ticket and think, oh, I got a share of Apple. Apple's going to go from three, dollars $400 a night to $10,000 a share tomorrow, and I'm going to be wit rich. No, nah, it don't work that way. You know, anything can happen in the stock market, good or negative. So it's a risk. But you have to take calculated risk by doing your research about how stocks work and also research on the companies that you're investing in. That's very key. Always do research on the companies that you're investing in. All right, so with that being said, let's go to reason number four 
why investing is better than saving. Number four, investing can reduce your taxes. For instance, if you're investing money into your 401k plan, a lot of that is pre-tax and you have after-tax. But pre-tax, um, that makes it appear that because you're putting money into your 401k, it reduces the amount of net income that's reported to your taxes. Okay, so it reduces the amount of net income that's reported to your taxes, um, thus giving you a tax break. So investing into your retirement fund is a great way to reduce some of your tax liabilities. Okay, hope that helped. Ultimately, investing makes your money work for you. So here we go. Ultimately, investing makes your money work for you. That's the biggest difference between investing and saving. For instance, most saving accounts have less than 2% annual return. I repeat, most savings, most savings accounts have less than 2% annual return. Some are more less than 1%. So not really making hardly anything, anything. So, but the S&P 500, for example, index fund has an average. I repeat, the S&P 500 has an average of over 8% annual return. And that's been happening for the past 30 years. Once again, the S&P 500 index fund has an average of over an 8% annual return and that's over the past 30 years so you do the math a saving account on average most majority savings accounts give you an annual return of less than two percent but the s p fund over the past 30 years has given back an annual return of eight percent or more there you go and once again the inflation rate on average has been three percent so I hope you understand these are the reasons why investing is better than savings. With all that being said, though, I want you guys to know that before you start investing, please have an emergency savings fund. So you save your emergency savings fund before you start investing. That's the most important thing. Have your emergency savings fund and then start investing. And also, I have a video on that. If you're curious about when do I start investing, I have a video on that. Put the link right here. Click that link. Go watch that video. When do you start investing? It'll explain everything. Once again, thank you guys for watching another episode of Rituals Money Talks. Please do me a favor and do yourself a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Turn the notification bell so you'll be in the loop when I post more financial videos like such. All right. Also, give this video a big thumbs up because the YouTube algorithm loves it. The more you give these a thumbs up, the more this video gets shared with more people who would love to hear this type of information. And it's beneficial to all. Also, once again, go visit your boy's merchandise store. You need a mask? I got you covered. Want some t-shirts? Flies this one? Got you covered. That's rituals.org. Go visit my website got merchandise but also got great financial tip videos on that website so you can go check out more videos on that website once again thank you guys for your continued support y'all have a great day peace